Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run, well we're back here with watches and again the Taizo series of watches and this is the S5, it's their latest model. Now what they've done here is they've slightly upgraded the internal specs but they've also changed the design of the watch altogether. So this is what gravitated me to get one of these in because I thought I've looked at the other two previous Taizo watches, the S3 and S4 and this one being the S5 looks like they've gone somewhere different with it. So anyway, like all my videos, let's get it out the box and see what we've got and see if this is a worthy upgrade and redesign of the previous Taizo watches. So the first thing at the box is basically a very usable but very thin little user guide manual and that's included in the packaging and that's the first thing out. Next is the charging cable and it's magnetic on this end and standard USB type connection on the other and this is for charging the watch and this is included. It's not very long, it's about a meter long but they do include a basic charging cable. Also comes with this little guide here on how to attach the strap to the watch which I've already done so I will show you now the watch with the strap on. And now we have the watch itself. Now I've already attached the strap because I thought it would be easier just to show you the whole thing. And the strap is basically a rubberized type strap. There isn't any options for other straps at this stage, which is a shame, but it would be nice if there was. Now there are two buttons on here. There's a crown and another push button. They basically do the same type of thing. The crown doesn't do any adjustments, unfortunately. And then you've got your sensor on the back and charging connection. So when uh, I push this button here, you'll get the watch face that is actually on here that's the default watch face but you can either upload um, new watch faces and you can put your own custom photo on this particular watch too. So next I'll just show you some features with the app and some of the other watch faces so you can get an idea of what it's like and what kind of faces you actually have on this watch. Okay, so we've got the watch here and unfortunately when you operate the crown it doesn't do anything which is a shame because on the S4 it allowed you to adjust the watch faces so it only acts as a push button, not you can't turn it to a, do any adjustments. You do have a second button and that is to operate some of the other functionalities in this watch like your stopwatch and your alarm and so forth. Now when you push this button again it'll bring you up to this menu here. Now this menu will give you um, all the options that you have available on this watch and as you can see you've got your exercise, your blood oxygen, exercise, your sleep, you can make phone calls, you can add your contacts, you can look at the weather which is handy, you can set alarms and stop watches, you have got a flashlight, um, you can also uh, operate your music with this watch which is quite handy. Now if you want to change the watch face you have to press that to go into the other settings button and this will allow you to adjust the menus and also the displays but if you want to change the watch face this is where you have to go and so when you go in here then when you double tap that becomes the watch face so that's how you change the watch face on the watch. Okay so I've got the uh, phone app running and the phone is now paired with the watch so if you want to see the different watch faces this is, gives you an idea so you have a couple of pages there isn't as many as there was on the S4, which is a shame, but there is quite a number of uh, watch faces here. Um, this one is quite nice, some of these, and also uh, this is your third one, and you've got a few more sort of down the bottom, but not quite as many, as I said, as the S4. And then, of course, you've got these ones here where you can upload your own picture and you can set the color and also the position of the time, which is quite handy. So it's got quite a lot of features, so it is a really nice um, watch. Now if I bring the watch back in, and I've got here the original S4, which I looked at some time ago, and just to give you an idea of the size comparison, and you can see they're not a lot different in size. I do feel the S5 is more elegant and a much nicer and more dressy type watch than the S4, and the S4 Although nice, tends to look quite common where this looks a more unusual type of design you don't see in this sort of price range. One feature I do like on the S4 is the fact that it does have a scroll wheel on the crown, which is nice, where this doesn't. But other than that, they're pretty much identical with this one having a slightly higher resolution and a slightly nicer look. So if you're in the market for either one of these, I definitely can recommend them. I like both of these but I like this a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more classy and a little bit more nicer. 
Anyway, I'm Justin, and as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.